the session okay and uh, about the function we already covered in python okay and we also have done one small exercise that is regarding to function so further uh, i will tell you about the one small game project uh, that is made made up of using python only so we will learn about that so we are learning uh, enough python for you to create a simple command line game so it is not a user uh, responsive user interface uh, game it is only command line game means we only uh, can run this app th this game in command line editor so let's discuss the rules of the game and then show you an example run through of a finished game so first of all i will tell you i will give you the overview about the game uh, game how will game it will work then i will go toward the solution part so the computer will think of three digit so basically in this game uh, computer will think of three digits and number that has no repeating digits you will then guess a three digit number you enter the three digit number uh, according to your guess the computer will then give back clues based on these clues you will guess again until you break the code within a match so if uh computer uh, on the basis of the clues that was given by the computer if you match i mean you won the game if you did not match so computer will tell you you are closer or you are far these things okay so there are three things uh, the possible clues uh, computer can give you on the basis of uh, the input you provided to the computer in this game so you have guessed a correct number but in the wrong position so when whenever you you are very close to the number you are very close to the target actually so computer will tell you so you are uh, guessed somewhat correct but you are at wrong position uh, so so it will tell you you are close and if computer will tell you match you have guessed the correct number in the correct position and you won the game then third is nope you have not guessed any of the numbers correctly so then you will try again and again until you win so you will need to look up a few things on your own to complete this project so for this i will tell you the part 10 simple game.py uh, python file after that we will go towards the solution part okay so let me tell you part 10 simple game python file and here we go in the folder of python okay so this is the python level 2 we are in python level 1 and we need to look into this file yeah this that that is already open okay so pile 10 sample game uh, code uh, breaker these are the three options it is time to actually make a simple command line game to put together everything you have learned so far about python the game goes like this the computer will think of three digit and no repeating digit you will then guess a three digit number and the computer will then give you clues the possible clues are close match and no based on these clues you will uh, guess again until you break the code with a perfect match so there are a few things you will have to discover for yourself for this game here are some useful hints try to figure out what uh, this code is doing and how it might be useful to you so these are the code uh, which already available import random so we are importing random number generator here because we, we will use the random uh, these uh, for generating the ran ran random number so so for that we need to include we need to import this in our program so we write this then digits is equal to digits is a um, variable and digits variable will give you the list and uh, inside this list you will got the number uh, range to 10 then it will shuffle the digits and then it will print the digits from starting to third index means three digit number another hint uh, guess equal to inside the guess variable we will input the uh answer we will input the digits so for that we need to give the uh guess to the uh 
uh, screen so so on the screen on the command line editor this application will ask you about the uh, what is your guess these things so print guess then you will print the guess and uh, let go for the solution part so here you can find the solution this is the solution of this application so here we have imported the random and we have defined some functions so using the function we are making this uh, game so uh, first is get get guess function second is generate code function and third is generate clues okay so first function will guess actually it will uh, give you the input line that is what is your guess this function whenever this function will call it will give you the uh, this input line then generate code function it, it generate a three digit list of number okay so digit is equal to str num for num in range 10 so we are running the for loop here in range 10 and it will store here then we are shuffle the digits and then it will return the digits of three digit number then we have this generate clues in, in this uh, function we are passing to parameters to argument that is code and user guess so user guess and code these two things are passing so it takes in a user guess and code then compare the number in a loop and create a list of clues according to the matching parameters so basically what there is happening so we have a code and we have a user guess so code is the target actually and user guess is the input that we are entering so every time we will compare the user guess with the code so if code match correctly then it will say code correct then if it is not match then you, you will uh, give the different different output that is match close and no so this clues is a empty list we are creating here so now for uh, compare guess to the code for in and num in enumerator enumerate use guess so here we are running a, a two pointer for loop and inside this we are comparing num with the code uh, with uh, ind indication it means uh, the pointer we are putting so clues dot append will give the match and l l if num in code then it will close and if clues is empty then it will say no nope. then after it will return clues okay so first of all we have empty clues so on the basis of these condition our clues will uh, fill accordingly actually q clues is a list which will be filled by the uh, string so match is a string close is a string no nope is a string so this will return this uh, so we have given one printf statement that is that basically title of the game so welcome code breaker let's see and uh, then create a secret code generate code function will see, create a secret code and uh, code has been generated then please uh, guess a three digit number so clue report this will guess the this this clue report this is empty uh, report so while clue report not equal to code correct clue, clue report is not equal to code, then guess equal to get guess get where guess function we will call and then it will generate the clues guess and secret code we are passing secret code we have given uh, we have generated here so this is the entry part of the program game and this is the uh, basic logic logic which need to develop here then here is the result of your guess and uh, then it will print the clue so this is the application which uh, developed here and uh, let me try to run this application in command line then we can understand properly okay so inside this uh, full stack let me run this python part 10 simple solution dot so it is saying no such file okay so in this directory we have not 
such file in Django course we have file actually so we need to go to this uh, Django course 2.xx and inside this we need we will go to 12 python level 1 so for this uh, uh, let me go to the particular uh, path django course uh, django course 2.xs 2.xx inside this i will go to the 12 uh, python level 1 python level 1 okay and inside this i will go okay this inside so i i am here in that django in django course python level 1 so python level 1 i have okay so inside here i will call the python uh, python 10 yes so i run the uh, our game project and it is asking welcome code breaker let's see if you can guess any my three digit number code has been generated please guess a three digit number so in the back end actually our gen generating the secret code part is uh, automatically done by the python so why uh, because these uh, functions that uh, generate code and these uh, automatically randomly generating the secret code so the code has been generated uh, please guess a number so my guess is one two three so it says here is the result of your guess close what is your guess uh, one one two so it, it is nope then one uh, two five it is also no nope. so i will try the game until i match okay I I try uh, but I am not I don't know what is the actual value let me give the random generate the 546 is the match here and uh, whenever I got the code cracked match 700 match 800 match 900 match multiple 9 Nope. Okay. So this way we can try and uh, we will uh, play the game and this is the command line game actually and uh, you can try this at your side and you can write the game uh, code uh, by your own and you can generate the different different functionality in this game also. So this is the one small python uh, use case i have shown you okay so let me close this now we have completed the level one python uh, let me go to the level two of our course and inside the level two we will see the diff advanced python so inside the level 2 uh, we will see the advanced python and uh, in this section we will be covering more advanced topic that will allow you to use django with easy so knowing this topic will make you transition to django very smooth okay so uh, in this uh, i will start about the scope that is local variable global variable scope then object oriented programming then one oops object oriented programming is a uh, very important topic actually so uh, I, 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 we will go to uh, see the one project related to oop and then error and exception then decorators and regular expression these things we will see and these are the uh, advanced part of our python programming after this we will go for django class for django project and that django part is very important uh, okay 
so